first of all congratulations because i think that it's lovely that you want to learn new things that's why you have clicked this thumbnail right hey there this is akshit manan and welcome back to a new video and in this video i'm going to tell you if you are a beginner in this software development field so should you start with app development or web development or let's keep this aside whenever we get into college we are new we are beginner in this it world we are really confused and we see our friends someone is doing app dev someone is doing web dev someone is doing some other dev and we get confused which development should we start so i'm going to keep this video restricted to only app dev versus web dev for a beginner and we can talk about the other kinds of developments like blockchain development and machine learning development and other things for the further videos so one thing that is required to be a good developer i am not telling an app developer or web developer i'm taking it as one and i'm talking about developers so that one thing that is required is willingness to explore new things willingness to solve the bugs willingness to solve the errors that you have got copying an error from the console and putting on the stack overflow and researching the answer so this skill will be required whether you go for app dev or web dev this is going to remain common. So coming back to the point which development should you start as a beginner so according to me it's totally up to you and you can choose freely which dev you want to get into but i would also like to put some facts in front of you through which all your doubts will be cleared so let me just answer very simply and in a single line start with web development yes that's a very straightforward answer but i'm going to give you the reasons for this answer and i'm also putting some light on the fact that you are a beginner you have nobody to guide you you have nobody in your house like an elder brother or father who is going to guide you in the development field for them this video is there and uh, for the people who are just new into college for them this video is there so if you are just beginner just start with web dev so what are the reasons why i am telling this to you so fact number 1 is that in app dev also in web dev also you work with apis you will be working with rest apis you will be making the calls you will be sending the get request post request and all that so this which is a part of simple backend it is taught in web development courses it will not be taught in app development courses whichever course you take for app dev on udemy coursera udacity or any other platform you will not be taught the basics of rest apis all these things will be taught in web development only the basic knowledge of rest apis how to create a schema of an entity will be taught in web dev where you will be creating some schemas for your sql database you will be working with or you will be creating your own apis using express js and all that you can also create apis using flask and django but i am talking about the uh, very common way that people take that is learning html css javascript then using node js express js to make their backend so this is a very common way and it is the best way because here you will be creating the apis you will be using those apis in your web development projects but this thing will not be taught in app development there you will be just uh, working with the firebase mongodb databases where all these plugins are already written or you will be if you are uh, working with the apis also you will be just taught to use those apis you will be taught to call the request or make the request uh, uh, from these apis so their students get confused okay uh, suddenly what is this api how can we make a request because they are they are not familiar with the json objects that and everything which is taught in web dev so number second reason is that you must know javascript that is a part of web dev course again if you are learning flutter if you are learning any other platform where you will not be using javascript that's a very bad thing because if you are a software developer then learning javascript is must because today itself around 51 more than 50% of the developers on stack overflow or on the github are javascript developers and their community is big their support is big so i think that learning javascript is must and is a part of web dev that's why you should start with web dev and not, not only this web dev is also part of almost all of the universities in india i myself had a subject of web development in my third year and where they were where the professors were teaching html css javascript angular js and all that so i think that it will also be helpful in your academics so now let's talk about point number 3 that is and before starting point number 3 i would like to say that this point may sound useless for some of the users but it is a legit point for many viewers and the point is having a good laptop with decent amount of ram All right, check out this bad boy. 12 megabytes of RAM, 500 megabyte hard drive, built-in spreadsheet capabilities, and a modem that transmits at over 28,000 bps. Wow. What are you going to use it for? Because when you learn app development, you have to launch Android emulators, and they require or they consume a lot of RAM, and your PC becomes slow. You are not able to focus on the main part. You just have to wait for emulator to load, emulator to launch, and all that. you just make a simple change in your ui and it takes a lot of time to reflect in your emulator yes you can run your uh, application in your real mobile but that's 
again a problem for the people who are not having a good laptop so i would like to consider this point also if you want to start learning the development because at least you will learn web development you will get an internship you will earn money then you can purchase your own laptop but forcing your parents to buy a good laptop just because your peers are learning app development that's why you want to learn app development that's not a good thing so that's why i would like to say that if you cannot afford a good laptop with at least at least 8 gb ram and i5 uh, intel processor then i would like to say that you start with the web dev get an internship earn some money and then purchase your own laptop and then you can start with app dev so these were the key points why i would uh, suggest you to start with web dev as a beginner as a beginner i will again point out but what are the exceptions in which cases you should start with what you actually think you want to do so some of the exceptions are that you have a great 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 app idea in your mind you have a startup idea in mind you want to just execute it you don't want to do anything else and you have entered into engineering just to work on this idea only then i would say that start with app dev don't focus on any other thing whatever resources you are having just consume them and just focus on your idea create your idea the other exception is that you are having someone in your own home who is ready to guide you in your app development journey who is going to teach you or he is going to like mentor you and who is going to solve all your bugs which are you which you are going to get in your app development journey then you can start with app dev because you are having a mentor at your own home who can teach you the basics of back end also within a week uh, whenever you get stuck with the back end stuff that i mentioned earlier so these are some of the points that you should consider before starting a new field or any other field or basically web dev and app dev so i hope you like this video if you want to get the road maps if you want me to give you the proper road maps of learning app dev and web dev how what are the steps that you should keep in your mind while creating an app project just ping me in the comment section i will create a video on that i hope you like this video till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot